What's up guys, this is M019 and I'm back with a part 2. The one I was supposed to do on the 9th, but I got really, really exhausted mentally with all the stuff that was going on last week and all that other stuff because I had too much on my mind. But yeah, part 2 with the old Andrew Tate thing that I was going to do like on the final part. Because, you know, Andrew Tate being labelled misogynistic and all that other stuff really is pretty much, pretty much a straight detriment. The way how women nowadays think they can just record themselves out on, uh, like, in the gyms and say that men are sexualising them for when literally you're having your phone out in the gym. I think I've said this in my other video as well, but I'm going to say it again anyway, just because if in case I forget, you are not meant to have your phone out on the gym. You can, you can take selfies, you can, you, and, and you can what do, and you can what, like what, like record your progress. But Jesus Christ, don't video yourself out in public if you know you're not going to like people staring at you. You know, it's just wild and bizarre how feminism is nowadays, especially when I just seen the TikTok just now saying about, oh, like, like mainly targeting, mainly targeting like what, like what, like men for what, for what, for what they do in the gym. I was like, well, they like, well, let's, let's, let's think of this way. Let's think about what you women do in the gym. That's the red flag in particular. Accused men of being uh, accused men of sexualizing, painting a target on their back, literally putting yourself out on OnlyFans when you can clearly do that shit other other places else, and you can literally have no problem in recording yourself, even if it's in your own home, like I am. You know, it's wild. It's wild the fact that you can literally record yourself out here and have. No one to judge because you're you're living alone. It's wild, really. It's wild. So, yeah, it's wild to say the least. And the fact that people like Andrew Tate gets called a misogynist and vice versa because oh, he it, like he has this ideology on women. I'm just like, well, thing is, we need masculinity back in the, in, in in these times, you know, especially when yeah, especially when yeah, you've got transgender people thinking that they could just stick. Like tampon, like little stick, little stick of that tampon, up up wherever they up, whether wherever they can, and think, oh, oh, I'm not on my period yet, bitch. You are a transgender. You're not gonna ever get periods because guess what? Because guess what, mate? You don't have the facilities for that big man. You don't have the facilities to try. And say, oh, well, well, it's because I'm not a woman. Oh, I don't have periods. Then fucking say that then. I hate this shit. You see on Twitter. You see on Twitter massively. And it, and it gets down to a point where it just, it's just wild. It's just wild. And, and like having, you know, having transgender people ruining absolutely everything. I mean, how? I mean, how? You're seeing. You seen like all the alcohol with but with with like with like Bud Light and whatever in America, you know? They are not selling at all because of what transgender people are doing and that's ruining ruining the brand because of them thinking that oh that oh transgender people have the rights to do whatever. No. Absolutely no. You know, you know, and I and you and I'm not a homophobic either. I'm just I'm just protecting everything here. I'm just protecting everything here, and it's so weird and it's so pathetically bad and embarrassing. The way how the way how this day and age has become, especially when Andrew Tate says about about women nowadays, and women get so offended. I'm just like, well, you women are you women are confused specimens you don't even know you don't even know what sex you are because you include pronouns you you lot include fucking pronouns because you because you, you don't know who you are if you've got a vagina you're a woman if if you've got a dick you're a man it's not that hard to comprehend pronouns back in my day yeah 
was, was, wasn't, and is, isn't. And it is. And it isn't. I just don't get the way how this work society is, especially feminism, trying to point out that we need to eliminate masculinity when you women are setting other women back thousands of years, back when you didn't have rights. It's wild to say the least, but hey ho, there you go. Probably, that's, that's probably the last thing I'm going to do on that subject before I get real controversial and get cancelled because people don't like what I say. Now, now on probably ne either next Monday or the Monday after, on on the Monday after, I will probably be re I'll probably do a reactions to all of my old videos, starting from the very first one back in June first. 2017 so stay tuned for that and hope to see you on the other side peace out